So by Gen version 9 just dropped today, let's take a quick look at it. Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now I'm feeling a little bit nostalgic here. By Gen was one of the very first add-ons that I reviewed on the channel way back in 2019, 18, 19? I'm getting old, I forget now. <laughs> it's available for free, you can download it from Gumroad, GitHub or even Blender Market if you want to give a little bit of a donation. I'll leave all the links in the description down below and we'll just take a quick look. So let's jump into Blender. Now once you have the add-on installed, go to the properties panel on the right hand side, you can see here Bygen. And the interface has had a nice update, it's pretty slick to be honest, it's pretty sexy. So you can see here we have surface effects. So if we click on the thumbnail, we'll generate a whole bunch of surfaces that we can use. So you have barnacles, industrial, leave, pipes. Pipes is my favourite, so what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to select the pipes. Make sure I've selected the object and I'm going to apply to selected. Nice and easy. We're ready to rock and roll. How easy is that? So let me show you another thing. I'll quickly undo this and I'll apply weight paint. Now, keep in the back of your mind, the more dense that your mesh is or the more topology that you have, it can slow things down. So there always is that kind of restriction. But you can see here when I quickly start weight painting, it actually paints. Perfect. Now this is actually using geometry nodes, so there is certain advantages here. So I'm going to quickly jump back into object mode. We'll quickly jump into geometry nodes and we'll just take a quick look at the nodes just to see what it's actually doing. So you can see here, it's actually importing the asset called pipes. So we could in theory create our own collection and swap this around, not a problem. We could create our own content pack. In fact, I actually recommend if you want to make a couple of quick bucks, Start making a couple of content packs for this, I think you would probably sell them. So essentially what it does is it distributes the points on the faces. We get this nice instance effect, we have a few different options here. We can change things like the curve angles, we can change things like the random value of the scale. So if we put this up and down, by the defaults these are pretty much tweaked and ready to go. So just to give you another quick example, I'll jump into layout. I'll select the object and we'll just do something like barnacles. Barnacles is always good fun. And I'll apply to selected and that'll apply everything to the mesh. Looking good, looking good. You can start to see how you can quickly create effects. If you're an NFT artist, you're probably thinking, ooh, testy. This is testy. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to quickly undo this. Now one thing that I actually did notice, when you start generating the weight map, you can see here in the vertex group, it creates it called pipes. So let's say for example you just do your own weight map and you forget it, you can actually rename it to pipes and it might be pipes.001 and it'll add the pipes back on. It's pretty clever that way, it's pretty intuitive. But I'm going to quickly undo these because personally, my favourite things, I mean I love this, I think it's fantastic, but I really like the old school stuff of Bygen. Now if you click here you can see here we have a whole bunch of options. We have Destructor, the Hard Surface Frame, I've covered all of this before. My favourite is Organic Shell. We'll keep it on the same displacement type and I'll hit apply style. Now again, the heavier the topology, the longer it'll take. And we get this really wicked effect. <laughs> really do love this. And what you can actually do is you can actually go into the modifiers. You can see here, it sets everything up for you. We can decimate, decimate, it does another smooth. We can change this to wireframe. We, we can play around with these settings and start to generate some really nice stuff. And I think that really is the purpose of Bygen. It's generating topology on the fly giving you something a little bit organic, a little bit crazy. So, essentially what we have is a nice organic shell. I can go back to this, I can then select something like, yeah, let's do a tangle. Let's apply it to selected. Now, again, <laughs> it's a bit heavy to be honest. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into geometry nodes. As you can see here the geometry node should be at the bottom of the stack. Uh, the weight paint, if you want to change the weight paint, you can change it here. Very easy to do. So personally, I think the density is a little bit big here, so I'm going to maybe put this down to 10. Let's see what we actually get. That's a bit better, it's a little bit more organic looking. We're starting to get this really nice kind of shape, and I can start building these on top of each other. I can start layering things. I can start making it a little bit more interesting. Now, obviously, this is just a very quick demonstration. We also have another option called displacement. Some very nice displacement maps. I think the topology needs to be pretty damn dense, to be honest. I think you might even need something like adaptive subdivision just to get a proper nice looking mesh out of it. Another thing that we also have is a couple of helper tools, open depth tool folder, I'm not entirely sure what that is. Create vertex object, add skin and subsurface, that may be dangerous. 
But another big thing is the volume effects. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to quickly delete this object and I'll just show you the basics of the volume effects. Now I did notice before I started recording the video that Curtis actually made a tweet about the volume stuff. I'm not entirely sure how it works. I think it's meant to give you a kind of volumized look. But the basic default stuff is pretty cool. So you have cross mesh, guts, synthetic mesh and techno space. So I'll just show you what techno space likes. Apply to selected and you get something like this. How cool is that? Now obviously because the developer is Curtis Holt, there is a few different things that you can use. You can use the scattering, the city scattering. So what I think you do is you go to the scene properties and you actually import that object. And it also has different things like the structure generator. It is a really nice add-on. And I think Curtis has a few other things for the future developed, which I always like to see. You also have a few different things in terms of additional tools. So you can apply all the modifiers, you can purge textures. And that is pretty much by Gen. It's excellent for generating content. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter, you know what to do. Take care.